Good evening, hello and welcome to Viewpoint. I'm Anusha Soni. The Liquor Gate Storm is back to haunt the Ahmadmi Party and its leader Manish Sisodia. It's been more than seven hours and the grilling of the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister continues by the Central Bureau of Investigation. While the Ahmadmi Party made a huge hue and cry about the summoning of Manish Sisodia, the Ahmadmi Party workers also hit the streets, calling the entire case merely a political vendetta. To the Ahmadmi Party, is it fair to reduce a due process of law to an opportunity for scoring political points? At the same time, the BJP has also been accused of misusing the central agencies right before Gujarat elections. In this political war of words, would we ever know whether the liquor policy of the Delhi government was a compromised one or not? It seems that once again, a high-profile investigation shall become a fertile ground for political parties to settle their own scores. Our top focus on Viewpoint tonight. Two months after CBI officials raided his residence in connection with irregularities in the Delhi government's excise policy, Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia was summoned for questioning by the agency. And the Ahmadmi Party pulled out all stops to turn the summons into a show of strength. Sisodia left home after a tilak ritual, accompanied by top leaders of the party. As AAP workers lined the streets, he took out a roadshow in an open roof SUV, waving to the crowds. He declared that his arrest was imminent due to upcoming elections in Gujarat. <laughs> Sisodia even made a stop at Mahatma Gandhi's memorial and compared himself to the father of the nation. जिस तरह से बापू को शरणंत्र में फंसा फंसा के अंग्रेजों की सरकार ने झूठे मुकदमे कर करके जेल में भेजा, आज मेरे ऊपर भी एक फर्जी मुकदमा करके मुझे जेल भेजने की तैयारी की जा रही है। Finally, Sisodia made his way inside CBI's headquarters, where he was presented with evidence in the case and statements of the other accused. As he was questioned, AAP workers gathered outside CBI's office, raising slogans and protesting against the summons. Several AAP leaders were promptly detained by the police. The senior police officials are on the ground, the SHO, local SHO from this area, Lodi Colony area is now making announcements asking them to vacate from this location. The Vajra Vahan has also been placed in the position. AAP convener and Delhi Chief Minister Arvind K. Trival firmly put his weight behind his deputy, even tweeting a cartoon depicting Sisodia as a hero. Abhi unho ek Gujarat aana tha, lekin aaj in logo ne Manish Sisodia ko giraftar kar liya. वो नहीं चाहते कि मनीष सिसोदिया गुजरात में जाके चुनाव का प्रचार करें। मैं मनीष जी को कहना चाहता हूँ आप चिंता मत करो आपके ना आने से प्रचार बंद नहीं होने वाला ये सारी जनता प्रचार कर रही है घर घर जाके प्रचार कर रही है। The BJP claimed AAP is behaving like it has won the World Cup of corruption। ये जश्ने भ्रष्टाचार हैं। जिस प्रकार से मनीष सिसोदिया आज एक खुले कार में it seems as if the Aam Aadmi Party has won the World Cup of Corruption. Sisodia is accused number one in CBI's FIR on the now scrapped excise policy, which handed over the sale of liquor to private players, shutting down government run outlets in the capital. So, is it political vendetta or is the law catching up with Manish Sisodia? Well, to tell you more about what's happening at the CBI office, where that questioning continues for the last seven hours, I'm cut, uh, cutting across to my colleague Arunima, who's tracking all the developments for us. Um, Arunima, over to you. What do we know about the line of questioning? Do we know when it's likely to get over? Oh, a tough question uh, there to answer <laughs> as to when it will get over. Uh, it's already been eight hours now and uh, the well-lit CBI headquarters uh, is, is uh, still buzzing even though most of their top leadership is at Pragati Medan where the Interpol conference uh, is getting underway tomorrow. Their executive council is meeting. Uh, even the team which is questioning him was supposed to be there uh, but sudden uh, change in plans means uh, they had to uh, prepare and come here. Uh, they're ready with their questions we were told uh, this morning. Questions uh, which had uh, documents as well. He was confronted 
presented with papers which showed uh, that the excise policy uh, was not flawed, uh, the sanctions that were required under law were missing, uh, that there were gaps in the way the excise policy was decided upon, the charge that also uh, there, were, there were benefits uh, made to those uh, private players who benefited from the excise policy and there were credit notes issued to them by people believed to be close to Mr. Sisodia. Now, how did CBI learn of all this? Uh, they have uh, confronted, we are told, Mr. Sisodia with uh, the papers that they have seized during the course of searches and also the interrogation of the accused who were arrested, namely Vijay Nair. Uh, the Ahmadi party insists that he's only associated with the social media wing of the party, but CBI has reasons to believe uh, that he was somebody close to Mr. Sisodia, part of the decision in excise policy. So whatever he has said, the evidence that ED has picked up after questioning uh, Sanjay Mahindru, which in some parts has been shared with CBI, and the arrest of Abhishek Bonapalli from Hyderabad. Mm. All of that was put on the table, and Mr. Sisodia's questioning is still on. Mr. Sisodia's questioning is still on. Arunima, how much of substance this argument really has that when there were multiple raids that happened at Sisodia's residence and at his office, there was nothing that was found. And uh, CBI is actually running a political witch hunt. I know the political witch hunt part of his uh, is best left to the political party spokesperson. But as far as the recoveries from the raids are concerned, do we know anything about that? So to answer the second question first about political witch hunt, I put that question to CBI officials and they've come out with a one-line statement saying that this is, uh, you know, investigation that we are doing, nothing to do with the politics. We have lodged an FIR, he's a named accused. How can we be prevented from questioning him? That's part of our job. Hmm. So that's to answer the political vendetta part. Now, as far as recovery is concerned, this is a case which deals with the policy matters. If you go back to the big ticket cases that CBI has investigated in recent past in regards to policy, take the example of 2G, take the example of common Commonwealth Games. What was the main thing that CBI had to prove there? It was the paper trail. So in this case also, if you argue that no material evidence has been recovered, CBI officials are turning around and say, well, that, that's obvious because this investigation is based on paper trail, is based on money trail, and that is what we are trying to put together. They have not made the charge that Mr. Sisodia has directly been paid money and therefore his lockers or his bank accounts may not turn up anything. But Vijay Nair, Arjun Pandey uh, and Mr. D. Arora, people who have been uh, accused of being Close to Mr. Sisodia, charge has been made that they were paid crores of rupees. Why were they paid? Was it uh, indirectly reaching Mr. Sisodia? That's the question CBI officials want the Deputy Chief Minister to clarify, to answer. Uh, I don't know when the day is going to end for you, Arunima, because we don't know when that questioning will end. Thank you so much for getting us all the updates. We'll keep coming back to you for more. Well, opening up this question for our guest as well, is this the law catching up or merely a political vendetta? Charu Pragya of the BJP, she's a national spokesperson. Saurav Bhardwaj is also joining us from the Ahmadmi Party. He's a spokesperson. Mr. Yashuvardhan Azad, who's the former IPS officer, and Mr. Namit Saxena, who's a lawyer. Charu, let me come first to you. Uh, you had none other than the Delhi Chief Minister and the Aam Aadmi Party convener, Arvind Kejriwal, once again reiterating, you are misusing central agencies, you did not find anything in the raids, and you're merely scared because there are Gujarat elections just around the corner. Anusha, we've been seeing all kinds of uh, new stories are being floated at the Aam Aadmi Party. But uh, whatever the stories, at the core of this, one thing is everything. There has been a scam in the end of an excise policy. Hmm. Once investigations began, this excise policy was withdrawn. This on itself, prima facie, I think, is enough evidence. If the excise policy was so perfect, why hmm. take it back? The hmm. question still remains to be seen. How many people who were either already debarred, whose licenses have been extended, undue favors to friends have been given, how much this uh, actually goes badly to not just Mr. Manish Sisodia, but also to the CM of Delhi, Arvind Keshivalji. And this is what CBI is doing. Hmm. Also, this whole theatrics and drama today is shameful. What is the Delhi CM trying to say? I read his tweet. Hmm. He is saying, uh, they, are you actually promoting lawlessness? Being the chief minister of the capital of India, is that what? Um, Charu, your, your connection is a little patchy. We can hear you, but it's a little patchy. I'll just try and fix that and come back to you. Uh, Saurabh, in the meanwhile, I want to come to you. 
Why make a spectacle if Mr. Manish Sisodia has been questioned? The Ahmadmi Party has said it from the beginning that we'll cooperate with the process of law. You want to conduct raids, conduct raids. You want to question us, question us. If you have anything that you want from us, we are ready to provide to you. So when Manish Sisodia was summoned to the office today, why there were political rallies or some kind of show of strength on the on the streets of the national capital? Uh, first thing, uh, the cadre of the Aam Aadmi Party, the volunteers and the leaders of the Aam Aadmi Party hmm. came with Mr. Manish Shishodhya to show that they are standing with Mr. Manish Shishodhya and we are very proud of the fact that today in these times when it's like a second war of independence in India, he has been chosen by the destiny for a sacrifice and he is ready to go behind the bars, stay there for months for the country. And the volunteers are also ready to go behind the bars for the country. We believe that this is a vendetta politics and it has nothing to do with excise or its policy. Mm. It is all around Gujarat elections. Mm. The BJP has one-to-one contest with Aam Aadmi Party in Gujarat. The Prime Minister has been naming the Chief Minister of Delhi and Aam Aadmi Party in all his public meetings in Gujarat. Hmm. The Cabinet Ministers of Central Government do press conferences against our Gujarat State President who was an unknown till now, no, but they have... Sir, so I, I give it to you. I give it to you. I'm not contesting the fact that you're no. putting now a formidable coming. challenge to the BJP in the state of Gujarat. Right. I'm not contesting that. Charu made two points. One now, is... one. I'll Charu's come to you. I, I'm coming to you, sorry. Now, I'm coming to you. Coming to that if, 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 if the Delhi excise policy was so good, why did you withdraw it? Prima facie, is that an admission of guilt? Yes. Yes. So yes. now, uh, coming to the BJP spokesperson's logic that if there was a policy which was rolled out and if it has been taken back, hmm. that means there is a scam and there should be a CBI inquiry, which prima facie proves that there is a scam. Now, there were three farm laws which were brought in by the prime minister. He advocated 700 people lost their lives and the policy was taken back. That means it was a scam and it should be investigated by the CBI and prime minister should be the prime you, accused by the same logic. Is it fair to compare both of them? Yes. No, no, he's, yes. he's comparing a, the Karela to oranges here. It's not even apple if, to oranges. If, if, if Sorry, there is a policy. This is a comparison of Karela to there oranges. Is a policy, but, take uh, it back. Anusha, uh, Charu, Charu, let him finish his point. Charu, let him finish his point. Charu, let him finish his point. I'll come to you. I'll okay. come to you. After this, I'll come to you. Okay. Sorry, finish now, your point. Coming to the second point, which CBI had made, that in such cases, you will not find money, you will not find anything, then why are you raiding? In last four months, CBI and ED have raided almost 500 times and they have found nothing. But sort of, how do you know they have found nothing? The CBI CBI is not supposed to come in the public domain and say, look, we found these papers. This is evidence on record. They will present it to the court. How do you know they have found nothing? Let me just remind you, in case of Satyendra Jain, they found something with a distant relative of one of the persons who was known to Satyendra Jain and they the whole spectacle out of it. They said, all right, two, 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 two crores have been recovered and this is all Satyendra Jain's money. They did it on the same day. And this is what CBI and ED does every time okay. when they okay. investigate. Let me take that point, Charu. Can I come in? Charu, Charu, yes, you can they respond to all the points, but respond to this point specifically. This, this you said, you been, said that if a policy is withdrawn, <laughs> prima facie, if there's some kind of admission of guilt. There is a different precedent that Saurabh is citing to you and saying that if that but, really is the case, then BJP has something to answer. Please go ahead, Charu. So, Anusha, I will, I, uh, as I said earlier, I will not get into that discussion because it's like comparing a Karela to oranges. That just does not uh, sound like the same kind of a thing at all. Here, there was a situation which caused our Prime Minister to feel that it could be a threat to India's uh, security, and that is why we took certain steps. Let's not go there. The fact is, today, when CBI summons Mr. Sisodia, this entire drama club comes out to play and mm. to perform. This entire drama club. The chief minister actually talks about and promotes lawlessness. The chief minister says, Jail ke taale tootenge. Does it befit the chief minister of the capital of India to talk in this language for a mere summons? This is not an arrest, sort of. I know you're a very wise person and you understand the difference between summons and arrest. 
Why pretend? Why create this media drama? The theatrics that you have unfolded today is actually shameful. And I will go on and ask you again: When the sale of whiskey and wine and all alcohol in general has gone up tremendously by 80 percent, why is it that the exchequer is losing 50 percent, nearly 50 percent revenue? Okay. Where is this extra money okay, going? Okay, so why, why the drama? Why the properly? political drama, quote unquote, on the streets of the national capital? Here. Sorry, please respond. Not about you. I think I think everybody should understand that these cases are political cases. They have nothing to do with any so-called scam. No. And I'll quote no, you. No, 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 no. Let's quote you. I, I'll quote you a few examples. Mr. Hemant Biswa Sharma, when he was in Congress, he was the most corrupt person in the northeastern India. BJP came up and published a booklet against Hemant Biswa Sharma that he is the Can prime I? accuser. Water scam and Shada Chit scam. There was a CBI ED inquiry against him, and today he is the chief minister of BJP in Assam. But sir, sir, that doesn't make it any less that no, Mr. Satyendra Jain has not been able to secure a bail so far. I mean, you may have a point to make about the BJP, but I'm asking from the point of citizens, people who vote for the Delhi government, people who vote for the Aam Aadmi Party, that why is it that Mr. Satyendra Jain has not been able to get a bail so far? If this is a mere let's, political witch hunt and vendetta. Let's come to Satyendra Jain. Yes. Look, Satyendra Jain has been behind bars for four months, and BJP is saying that look, he is behind bars. That means he is guilty. Now, what happened in that case? The same court which had kept Mr. Satyendra Jain behind bars for four months started asking pertinent questions from ED and CBI. Hmm. She asked, "What is the criminality? What is the criminality against Mr. Satyendra Jain?" and ed was not able to answer the questions and when ed and the central government felt that the court is about to discharge mr satyendra jain hmm. they got the court changed okay so can you imagine the kind of nervousness in bjp that they are they go Charu, against the judge a quick response to you then i want to bring in namit and mr yashuvardhan azad into the discussion so that means no, i'll be very i'll be very quick i know other panelists are waiting sir if you simple baat bataiye you are going To answer something, you're going for questioning. कि क्या समाचार? Why did you address that? तिलक लग रहे हैं, झंडे लगाए जा रहे हैं, road show हो रहा है, open है, few भी है, रात घर जाए जा रहे हैं, आशीर्वाद लिया जा रहा है. What are you doing? What are you doing? Junk पे जा रहे हैं, Mr. Sisodia. Why are you creating this drama? Your your chief minister and leader has always said that you will cooperate with investigation. Why not go to the office, cooperate with investigation? Sorry, thirty seconds. Sorry, thirty seconds. Sorry, thirty seconds. Okay, first of all, first of all. सीबीआई ने उनको बुलाया एंड ही वेंट देयर वी आर कॉपरेटिंग सेकेंड थिंग वी आर नॉट लाइक बंगारू लक्ष्मण द एक्स चीफ ऑफ बीजेपी नेशनल पार्टी हुट ऑन कैमरा वी आर नॉट बंगारू लक्ष्मण दैट वी लाइक uh we we heard the political discourse it's full of what about reads full of you know political jibes as expected out of the bjp and the aam aadmi party they are political competitors speaking from a legal point of view we have le- looked at the fir this is a matter which is under investigation i think summoning is a mere procedure which is to happen but as far as this argument is concerned that there were about 500 raids there is nothing that has been found against manish sodia is the agency really liable to put out in the public domain what they have found after the raids Namit, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you how CBI functions, and it is yeah. very important to understand how it functions. CBI follows something which is known as the CBI manual. Hmm. It was, you know, earlier of 1955, and now as recent as 2018, it has been amended. Hmm. Now, under the CBI manual, and this, this is not only they are entitled to the duty bound to follow what CBI manual says. Now, CBI manual directs CBI to, you know, to in such cases where you know where you know the where the gravity of offence is such, what they have to do, they have to do something which is known as a preliminary inquiry, something which is known as a PE. Hmm. After conducting PE, they can either reach to a conclusion saying that there is nothing in the case, hmm. or they have to go one step ahead and do something which is known as an RC, a registered case. Hmm. Till you know they complete their preliminary inquiry, you know they have to do, they have to conduct raids, they hmm. have to conduct searches, they have hmm. to conduct seizures. they have to take they have to take people in custody they have to do questioning they have to do summoning they have to do collection of evidence they have to do picketing of evidence everything they are, they are duty bound to do now in this case what is cbi doing cbi is just following the cbi manual in letter and spirit what is wrong in it 
you know, an accused, and he's the accused number one, Mr. Manish Sodia. He can't shy away from investigation and say that, you know, but because this is political, I don't want to participate or cooperate with the investigation. You know, all this facade of, you know, taking people, you know, with him and, you know, carrying on media, you know, this is all, you know, you can't scuttle investigation at this stage. After okay. your summoning, after your questioning... I mean, Mr. Sisodia CPL, has a legal route. He can go to a court and say, quash the yes. FIR against me. Yes. There is yes. no evidence against me. That route is open for any citizen of the country. Uh, Mr. Yes. Azad, I'm coming to you. Is there a way to really figure out for an ordinary citizen, this is a political vendetta or this is a investigation, this is a good investigation happening, or we will always be lost in this political noise? Mr. Azad. Well, let me tell you that the people are fully aware of what is happening on ground. Hmm. And it is quite obvious to them what is the political part and what is the substantive part. In this particular case, on the face of it, there is nothing wrong. August uh, 17, the uh, fire was registered. And since then, uh, all the 31 searches have been held. Everything has been done. And finally, after arresting a few people, because there are 10 liquor licensees also, hmm. they've taken statements of everything. And now they want to corroborate and they want to re-question uh, Mr. Sisodia. Hmm. Now, two months have already passed. If this is also clear, if CBI would have certainly seized something really substantial, the leaks would have clearly come through. There's no doubt. This yeah. is happening. Yeah. Unfortunately, these regimes, it yeah. shouldn't happen, but hmm. it is actually happening. Hmm. Now, point number three is that if after so much, if even now the charge sheet is not filed, then it appears something is uh, definitely wrong. Because yeah, but they're still you, on time, right? There is still some time before they file a charge sheet, sir, right? What I'm saying is you can't drag on an investigation endlessly hmm. like it is happening in certain cases. Hmm. Now, number three, as far as the opposition charge is concerned, that this is done uh, with a time uh, in mind, yes, yeah. it might be. But you can't say that if there is an evidence, primary evidence, you can't uh, lodge FIRs also. Absolutely. So this is, you know, well, you know, catch in the tail. So, so, so the yeah, I, I want to ask this question to Saurabh as well. Saurabh, you're, uh, you're a learned, educated citizen okay. and, a, and a legislator. I want to ask you this. Uh, uh, you know, the BJP has been repeatedly asking you that why are you doing this political drama? But I'm asking you that if the Ahmadmi Party and Mr. Sisodia believes that the case against them is absolutely motivated, there is no evidence to prove anything, why don't you move a quashing petition before any competent court of law? That's a legal option which is open to you. Why aren't you exercising it? Uh, I think your viewers must understand that we have used these legal options in the case of Mr. Satyendra Jain. Hmm. And after trial of four months, the trial judge was convinced that there is no criminality against Satyendra Jain and she was asking questions hmm. and ED, the Solicitor General, hmm. Mr. Tushar Mehta was seeking time from the court hmm. that I'll argue next time, I'll argue next time. And when the judge was adamant that now you have to answer my questions, what is the criminality? Hmm. They did not have answers and then they say the judge is biased, let's hmm. change the court. The same court which is keeping Mr. Jain behind bars for four months. So did you move a quashing petition after because that, the, sort of? Because, because, because the court hmm. is asking questions from ED. Now, regarding the lawyer friend, you know, one of the lawyer friends said yeah. that there should be a P and there should be an FIR. In this case, there was no P. Hmm. There was a direct FIR. Hmm. There is no scope of P here, you know. Without investigating, without inquiring, but, without Saurabh, finding that out that actually anything, makes the case for the logic. argument I am making to you constantly. That why aren't you going to a competent court and saying that, look, there was no P, look, they are not listening to us, look, there is no evidence, quash this case. In fact, all these arguments you can raise before a high court and say this is malified. Why aren't you doing it? Even before, yes, even before the courts, you need some kind of honesty and impartiality on the part of investigating agencies. And I'm very sorry to say that today CBI and ED have been reduced to just mere, you know, extensions of the party at center. And this is what we have seen in Ahmad Biswa Sharma. He was the most... Sorry, the question about Ahmad Biswa Sharma and the misuse of agencies, I'll take that to Charu. Sorry, I'll take those questions to Charu. Sorry, I'll take those questions to Charu. But you haven't answered my question. Why aren't you exercising your legal options if you have faith in your fair and clean politics? No, because because it is too premature. Today, CBI will say that we are no, inquiring. 
I'll come no, to you, sir. Uh, they will say that, sir, we are inquiring into it. We are in the stage of investigation. So we will not get relief. And then okay. there will be headlines Charu, in the TV. Charu, the answer, answer this point, which they, is they, that they, they, there are so... Why is point. it Why is it that the corrupt are found only in the opposition ranks? Repeatedly, the opposition hmm. parties are saying that you're misusing enforcement directorate in CBI and the entire timing of it, being politically mature, cannot be ignored. Please go ahead, Charu. So, uh, Anusha, first of all, I'd like to point out that uh, the Amadi Party spokesperson has essentially exposed that he's got zero faith in the Indian judiciary. That is what he's saying, and I don't know how all the judges, all the hardworking lawyers, in fact, add to that all the officers and staff of CBI and ED are, CBI and ED are listening to this. Like, with one brush, you're painting every single responsible officer, judicial officer, and otherwise black, just because it suits your motive. And as for the timing of inquiry, Anusha has said this before multiple times, and I will say it again. In our country, there is an election every couple of months. Our inquiry is going to wait around for two years of uninterrupted time. Point no taken. Also, also time answer the point come. that why is it only the opposition leaders which are under the scanner? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Have you filed a complaint against anyone? Please give us more <laughs> details. Let CBI open a file. Know of what is important. Sir, if you're laughing, do you have a point to you? Did you file a complaint that has not been pursued? You're not even making use of any legal right which is available to you as a citizen of India, which is available to everyone. Sir, sir, sir you that's the point that, that I've heard a lot of BJP spokesperson raising, that you make this hue and cry about, look, CBI is not going after BJP leaders. Look, there are no uh, you know, investigations happening against them. Why don't you exercise your right? Why don't you go to a court? Why don't you lodge complaints? Uh, this is this is the kind of uh, argument which they have taken when they are in the center, when mm. Congress was in center. Why didn't BJP go to the courts? Why was BJP making so much of hue and cry? And why was the prime minister, when he was the chief minister of Gujarat, he was making so much hue and cry about the CBI? There are so many, you know. No, 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 no. One minute. One minute. Uh, where he can I? And no, no, it why was did, actually the Supreme Court of India which had something to say about the CBI. Why I'm aware did? of that. It was and the prime minister and the current prime why minister when he was summoned did not did not create this drama for media to follow. He went. No, but sort of one thing, one thing, one thing sort of that stands out for me is that you have pointed out about how BJP has taken Hemant Biswasarma or X Y Z leader, and now they are not corrupt. You are also making a point that they are misusing. But on the substance of the matter, you have not answered me. A that why aren't you approaching courts? B why have you made such a big you know for a show about all of this? And there is a fair point that elections happen in this country every year. The timing of it is always going to be wrong, one way or the other. Uh, I think I think they are just manipulating. Whenever there's a B Bengal mm -hmm. election, then the timing is that CBI and ED starts targeting leaders who are in a position in Bengal. When there is an election in Assam, then CBI and ED goes to Assam. Now there is an election in Gujarat. No, no, I'm sorry. So I'm sorry, one minute. So is it Did just you not see visuals of Captain Captain North, the... which came out from the house of a TMC leader's girlfriend? Did you miss seeing that? Did, when no, are the elections in no, Bengal no, now? Did you miss seeing those visuals? Maybe Anusha in uh, before, News 18 can help Bengal. you. Maybe just then you'll be Bengal reminded. Bengal. There are no elections in Bengal currently. I am sorry, Saurabh. Now, this is a lot of water and a lot of Bengal rhetoric with no substance. Just before elections were raided by CBI and ED. Is it not a fact? And then they both came into the BJP and the CBI ED gave them a speech. So, sir, let's take a look at that, sir, that they have done it from political timing. Now, in the case of that, you haven't given me the answer to that. Timing, let's take a look at that. Timing is a different thing, right? No, I don't want to give you the answer. For the sake of the argument, Charu, for the sake of the argument, let's take it on timing. But the answer has to be given on the substance of it, right? I don't know if he heard me talk about the TMC leader's girlfriend house. Sorry, please go ahead and respond. Sorry, please go ahead and respond. Sorry, can you just go back to the timeline of that particular case? All right, Charu, let him respond. Let him respond. I have 30 seconds. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, just because BJP leaders are alleging that there is substance, I should believe that there is substance. Are you are not able to prove anything in the court? You have been against our MLS for eight years. You have looked into 450 files through Shunglu committee. You have raided the chief minister's office five years back. You have found nothing. 
All right, I, I am case, absolutely yeah. short of time, but I haven't got answers on the substance of it. Namit Saxena, Charu okay. Pragya, Saurav Bharadwaj, Yashu Vardhan Azhar, thank you all for joining us. This war of words between the Ahmadmi Party and the BJP will continue. Meanwhile, the questioning at the CBI office of uh, Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sosodia, that's also underway. We'll continue getting you all the updates right now. It's a wrap from my side. Ridhima joins you with the biggest.